no hop. Going for forty grams. Bosh. Oof, that looks nice. Got some dark chocolate on there. This is the secret sauce, the anabolic oats, 100 gram of oats, 40 grams of peanut butter, sweet and salty, pip and nut. First time trying this yesterday actually, and it is absolutely fire. And then two squares of 90% dark chocolate. Ugandan, keeping it in the African, the African tribe. I am actually one eighth South African. Fun fact for you there. I don't look, I do, I do look it actually right now. I do look it. <laughs> right, let's give these a little taste test. Hot. Delicious. So this prep was essentially just proving a huge point to not just myself. There's a lot of people who I think doubted me. And that is a a huge mistake because I am a stubborn, stubborn motherfucker and I will literally do everything in my power. And that's not just me saying that, that is the one thing inside me that will drive me more than anything. We're at the venue. We're nine minutes late to the check-in. Athlete check-in. Athlete. And uh, the barriers aren't fucking open to let us in. So, oh, that is the curb. Don't know where I'm going to park here. I'm on a road which you can't even fucking drive up. This is a buzz road. Oh my God. It stems from not just the last couple of years since I've, you know, started this bodybuilding journey. It dates back to the days when I was playing football. You know, that's why I started the gym in the first place. Being the fucking weak, skinny kid, getting pushed off the ball, getting told you've got the heart of a mouse by your coach at like 13, 14 years old. This has proven a point to literally every single person out there that's ever thought that I am weak. Ditch the car outside of Morrison's. Don't know if you can park there or not, but um, this is the venue. Pretty sick. I actually used to walk past here every day on my way to uni, which is a full circle moment. So I'm going to check in now and then uh, I'll catch up with you in a sec. Yes, but we'll have to come back in a sec. We haven't got any cash at the moment. Okay, so are you checked in? Yeah. Yeah, if you speak to me, because you'll check you in. Okay, then. All right, I'll tell you. I've done this around a lot when I first started. My mate's dad, he was like, you need to stop swearing. He was like, what if you end up on TV? I was like, it's strange seeing uh, faces that obviously you follow on Instagram and actually seeing them in person. Sock is broken. <laughs> <laughs> a small sock. <laughs> small sock. I'm currently uh, applying the final layer of tan. I don't know whether you can see my arsehole or not. Let's, let's hope, there it is. There it is. The sock is full, if you're wondering. The sock is full. Feeling, uh, feeling good, to be fair. I feel quite dry. Um, I'm not gonna look my best right now. I'm not on stage for another two or three hours, so like, it is a bit of a mind fuck though, like, seeing everyone else. Some of them, I'm pretty sure, are making a point to walk around with no top on, and I'm thinking. Put it away, son. Like inside, it is your... Yeah, it's like a fucking airport. First bodybuilding show ever he's been to is the one he's competing in. <laughs> so, uh, that's interesting. Why the fuck not, man? Imagine if we did all sports that way. <laughs> <laughs> it would be lovely. Yeah, like, from, like, first boxing match. <laughs> <Someone's ever played. laughs> yeah. Like, what Fuck. <laughs> Obviously, we're getting uh, the final coat yeah, of Tan on Morgan. So we've approached this, where he's just tanned up, wash it off, tanned up, wash it off over the past few days. So hopefully we can get a nice, consistent colour. There's tricks to the trade of this. And it's coming from a guy who's fucked up his tan a few times. So uh, I fucked it so he doesn't have to. You know, if, like, your mate says, oh, oh yeah. do you fancy playing a game of netball? I know, mate. Like, I'll play, yeah, but like, I don't know the rules. You turn it so, so what are the rules then? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so here's, um, here's how we're bodybuilding today, mate. Netball. What? Netball. Netball. Fuck off. We're playing netball. Um, so, pre-judging. That's where you're gonna be judged the most. And uh, like I say, you'll start off with the symmetry rounds, which is your quarter turns. They'll probably do a couple of comparisons and then they'll put you 
uh, into call outs, I believe. And then you're going to do the compulsories. First call out are going to be the people at the front, like your winners, your second, third, fourth. You've got to pose like you're fighting to move up. Even if you're centering the first call out, you've got to fight to keep. Stay there, yeah. yeah. So that's what you're doing. You cannot let your foot off the gas at any point. Ow! Just fucking stab it's yourself. Idea. I do well in fact. Yeah. Four, four. 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 Is, that what, is that a lucky number? It says no. It says no. It's about to be. Good afternoon, this is Morgan reporting here. I've just come back off stage. It was a little bit of a palaver, to be honest. Got backstage, my um, class was already lined up, waiting for me. They were like, oh, here's number 44 that we were waiting for. I had no glaze on, I'd just downed my pump. So I had to pump up, literally backstage, like behind the curtain. All the other lads had just stood there, chilled, waiting, and pre fucking press ups contracting my chest, asserting the dominance, you know what I mean? And then got on, you can't really see much. It's like, if you could see people's faces, it would be more nerve wracking, but you can't yeah. see anything except yeah. light from the judges. It's what a lot of people don't realize is when you're on there, you just, the, the lights are so bright. It's obviously why you need a darker shit tan. But you can't see anyone. And you, it's like you're po uh, posing out to, to the abyss. But yeah, you fucking smashed it. I just got an adrenaline rush, like mm. fuck. <laughs> like, I'm just like on top of the world. Straight away, pretty much instantly after the uh, the symmetry round, they sent him and another guy back. That's when we knew he's in the runnings for top two. And again, that stayed that way throughout the couple trees. Um, it did not slip any places. And they moved him towards the end outside once the uh was pissed him off me I, I come off stage i was fuming because i got brought to the back just two of us i'm thinking yes get in everyone's screaming so i'm like okay i'm top two and then i got moved to the end and i was like fuck what for done wrong i've done something wrong here i'm last what's going on walked off stage with everyone and then come back and then jack explained obviously it's because they'd finished judging me yeah. they, they made the mind up obviously they've seen him and the other guy in the middle and they've just made the decision, obviously, where they're going to be placed. So they're now trying to place the rest of the lineup. So yeah, I'm confident. Top two, at least, if he doesn't fuck it. <laughs> so we've got the posing um, in the evening show. Probably one more comparison and a pose down. We're pretty much going to hold where he's at now. It's going to be very hard to fuck it if we, unless we do something silly. So we're pretty much there, you know. Top two for sure. But we, we could get first. We could get first. I'm fucking hope so. All day, baby. Here we go. 
Let's go, Morgan. Perfect. Perfect. That's it. Lux spread. Side chest, either side. Side tricep pose. Your shot now. Let's have a loud cheer for who you want to win. Come on, let's go. Yeah. One more. That's it, open up, open up. Yeah. Relax, guys. Let's have a last spread. Lovely. Mm. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, Morgan. Okay, face the front again, please. Let's show your abs and thighs. Let's go. Let's go, Morgan. Yeah. And finally, let's show the audience your most muscular. Come on. Come on, Come on That's it. Let's have some pace. tonight in the novice heavyweight we've got number 50 Noel Rye <laughs> our runner up in the novice heavyweight 2023 goes to number 44 Morgan Rushton well done Morgan So welcome your novice heavyweight champion, 2023, it is Kevin Kerr, number 52. So we've just watched Morgan, he's um, obviously just retained, he's been placed, got second, very, very close, very, very close. Uh, obviously, we knew he was going to be in the top two. I think he had an improved look, but again, it it could have gone either way, and they went the other way or the direction. We've got a show next week. We can carry on improving further. I'm incredibly happy and proud um, for Morgan because he's exceeded expectations. But I know when you're there, it's between two people, and you're one of those people. Second, it, it fucking stinks a little bit, but obviously, he's done amazing. He's looked incredible. Uh, the, this peak's gone fantastically. Considering at the start of this, he didn't know how to pose, brand new to bodybuilding. He beat a lot of good people today. He looked like a proper bodybuilder. It's so amazing. Obviously, the man of the hour has just come out. So uh, I'll see his thoughts. Second place, not too bad. First show. The guy next to me was an absolute fucking giant. Not gonna lie, I was like disappointed because I didn't want to fucking win, obviously. Um, 
but it is what it is. First show ever. There was loads of things, like little things which we fucked up. I forgot to take my Peak Max this morning. Obviously these didn't make a huge difference, but like there was little things. Obviously I got rushed before. The way I went out on the second time, a lot less rushed, where I was actually able to pump up properly. I thought I looked a lot, lot better. I fucked up my posing routine, stumbled a little bit, but nerves it, it is what it is. Second place, can't complain, I'll take it. Morgan's just had a look at the photos. He's happier now because we realised that we absolutely fucking nailed it. Like I say, prep was like 40 weeks to this show. 14. Yeah. 14. Bear in mind, you know, we started working together at the start of prep. It, it looks completely different. And like I say, he ended up being a very polished athlete, one of the best poses on stage, one of the best conditioned, one of the best balanced. So that's obviously without an official proper off season as well, which is very exciting. So we've got this next week coming up. Again, we can uh, we do plenty to improve the look even further. Uh, it's just more experience on the stage as well. Very good showing today. Well done. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you for all your uh, guidance, support. I was winging it, man. <laughs> I had no fucking clue what was going on. <laughs> yeah, I was absolutely fucking fuming, to be fair, when I initially got told. And then I've looked at the pictures and I was like, oh, actually, they look sick. Because you don't see what you look like, obviously, until after. That was the goal from the start, was to get in literally the best fucking shape I have. And I've done that by mm -hmm. far, so. He's beat nine bodybuilders today. Who have actually, you know, gone through puberty. Gone through puberty, like myself. Grown adults. Well, he's well, he's beat grown well, adults today. Some of us have got pubes. Some of us. Loads of arse hair as well. <laughs> <laughs> you had a cloud underneath your arse. It's closed the gap between you. <laughs> Those and drunk didn't fit me until today, until oh. I shaved it off. Oh. <laughs> Mate, I'm bad one. What? what? It was a big bush, man. <laughs> Can you imagine? He just had this big party. He said, with free brain cells. I do now, mate. A big bush from behind. This is outro 2.0. Thank you very much for all your support, everyone. I don't know what I'm going to say, to be honest. Um, I'm winging this. Just follow the journey. Please just suck him off. <laughs> If you follow along the journey, thank you very much for all your support. Everyone, literally, it means the world. Um, let's go fucking smash next week and get first place.